Okay, the second part of what I wanted to do in preparation for user authentication was to go ahead and start encrypting our passwords when the user signs up. And we're gonna do that through a module called bcrypt. You can look at the bcrypt library on npmjs.org, but let's go ahead and get it installed. And if you're exceptionally lazy like me, you can just copy this, go into your project directory, paste it in there, and I always use the dash dash save. I, you know, I think maybe by default now, when you do an install of a module, it actually gets put in your package.json. But again, I'm too lazy to actually find that out. If anybody else can confirm that, leave me a message and I will stop irritating you by putting this dash dash save in. I already have bcrypt installed, so after you've installed it, let's go over to the code. So I've already pasted in this new lifecycle callback before create. And like its name suggests, this is gonna happen before a record in the model is created. And in this case, the user object that has all of the attributes that are gonna be created are passed in this values argument. The first thing we're gonna do is just make sure that there is a password value, and secondly, that the password is equal to the confirmation. If it's not, we're gonna pass this error that the password doesn't match. The next thing we're gonna do is actually start the encryption. First, we're gonna require bcrypt, then we're gonna go through bcrypt's hashing parameters, and that is to pass the password to the hash method. This 10 is the number of rounds that it's gonna actually do its hashing algorithm. If you're so inclined, you can take a look at the actual API and how it works at bcrypt's GitHub site. So on completion, we're gonna get either an error or the encrypted password. If it's an error, we're gonna pass that error along. And if it's successful, we're gonna go ahead and make the encrypted password within the values object equal to this new hashed password. This values.online true, just imagine that you didn't see it. Uh, this is gonna be used in another screencast and I mistakenly put it in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and call next and continue the middleware stack. So let's go ahead and see if this worked. I'm gonna start the server using sales lift. And we'll sign up a new user. In this case, my old friend Nikola Tesla, who as you already know, I think is a genius. Now, as you might recall, let's go ahead and look at the list of users here. We're not allowing that encrypted password to come back to the client. So I prefer a graphical user interface when dealing with the administration of MongoDB. And I use this program called Genghis. It's a Ruby gem, and I can show you how it works. So we'll go back into the terminal, and I'm just gonna type Genghis app which will launch this admin page. I can go to my local machine, to our activity overlord database, our user collection. And as you can see here from the prior screencast, we have the user we created without bcrypt and now Nikola Tesla that has an encrypted password. I'm gonna go ahead and delete me here since I have a insecure password. And that's basically it. We're ready for user authentication. Thanks for watching.